What am I doing? Why are you not on our mattress? My bed is missing. Our bed is missing. Why is our bed missing? My bed's missing because it was a sponge. Because it sucked up all kinds of... All of the water. That leaked from our... Water bag. Which is in our airtight Time house. Else. So where is our mattress right now? It's in the sun. Ah! On top of our solar, solar panels. panels. And life is not always rosy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Suffering is part of life. You just gotta remember to pray and be roll with it. So yeah, we have water problems, and we have to dry out this, the underneath the floor because no water can get out of our house because it's so airtight. So it all sat underneath the cork flooring and buckled the floor, which is not fun. That's what we're doing today. And in case you can't hear us very well, it's because we've got two massive fans trying to dry all the water out from underneath the cork flooring which is now going We hope it goes <laughs> By the way, actually, good thing, we're in Phoenix, Arizona. It's the driest place this could possibly happen. So if this was gonna happen anywhere in the world where we could just open up the windows and dry out the house, it did. It's Phoenix. Best place to have a flood. Best place for the flood desert. ever. <laughs> so we spent all day and all night in Phoenix, Arizona when it was 97 degrees outside drying this place out. Basically what we did is open up the window in the under loft and turned on the uh, oven, excuse me, the kitchen exhaust fan, which is basically the whole house fan. It pulls about 300 CFM. So we had air sweeping across here and also coming in from the uh, intake at the bottom of this wall to dry out down here. So we had as much low air as possible. Plus, we rented two fans that just were blowing all night long while I was trying to sleep. <laughs> Which is yeah, it's funny. pretty funny. They weren't here. Now that Grace has installed the Solatex Mento pan underneath the water bag, which we should have done in the first place, I know. Uh, that is watertight and airtight. And so it's perfect for a pan that's gonna have to be a special shape because the water bag, of course, changes shape as it empties and, and gets filled. In addition to which, uh, now that we've put that on top, so it's gonna be like a swimming pool in case it ever leaks again, we have the water alarm, which we picked up. This costs like 12 bucks. Uh, and it has a detachable, it looks like it's not detachable, but it is, with about a six foot wire. So we're gonna put those at the bottom of the pan. And if it gets wet down there, they are gonna come in contact with each other and this alarm will go off, letting us know that this is happening. Um, this is not a one-time use. You should be careful about the battery because some of the things that we looked at had like a battery life of 24 hours. They'll beep for 24 hours and then they'll stop because the battery runs out. That's not what you want because just in case you're not in the house for 24 hours. So this should solve our problem forever, except for the fact that our uh, APC cork flooring now is all buckled, which is sad. We'll have to redo that. Um, so, overall, lesson learned, remember to put a pan under yours and also an alarm. As many monitoring devices as you can have in your house, it is always better because you know what's going to happen and you know that if something bad is happening, you will be alerted before it becomes an emergency that makes you freak out like that. Thanks for watching. Tune in next time. Video Yeah. It's too loud in here. Yeah. You have to be a little.